This is Matthew Jennings, Director of Communications, and I'm out here with Ginger, Araceli, and Shane, and photography teacher Justin from Oceanside High School. You're going to learn more about these awesome students right now in this week's Oceanside oh, Week in One Minute. Okay. This week, we're giving a shout out to these three incredible photographers from Oceanside High School, whose photos are now displayed on banners downtown, marking the city's new state-designated cultural arts district. Congratulations again to Shane, Araceli, and Ginger. Stick around to the end of the video if you want to hear a little bit more about the inspiration behind their amazing photos. And we are very proud to officially launch Surfside Educational Academy. When OUSD's independent study and continuation programs were placed under the same roof last summer, staff saw an opportunity to design a new all-encompassing program that can meet a spectrum of student needs with flexibility, distance learning, and personalized instruction. Check out our homepage for the story and help spread the word. And as the year comes to a close, we love seeing some virtual end of the year celebrations. These Fusak kinders are excited to move up to first grade. Be sure to check out the video on their Twitter feed. That's it for this week. We'll see you next week for the grand finale. Be sure to follow us on social media at OSIDE USD. Let's, let's start with you, RSL. Talk to me about the image that was chosen for the banner. Uh, okay, so the image that was chosen was the one I took in the Oceanside Museum of Art, actually. And it was actually kind of a surprise to me because I didn't think it was that good. Like, I kind of took it as um, spur of the moment type of deal. And, um, I'm, well, I'm kind of happy it was chosen because I feel like the Museum of Art isn't really showcased as much. And I go there all the time. Like, even um, before we went as a class, I actually go there a lot. And so um, I kind of took that picture mainly because I liked, like, how the hand was kind of grabbing for it. And I like how they change it every week or so. So, like... I like that one in particular, the hand, and um, it was kind of a spur of the moment. I saw the guy there, and I was like, well, I'm going to take it. And at first, I kind of didn't like it because of the lighting. It was a bit too dark for me, but I submitted it anyways, and I didn't think it was going to get chosen at all. That's so cool. Well, it did, and it's going to look awesome. Yeah. I haven't gotten to see it in person yet. I can't wait. Uh, Ginger, talk to me about yours. Well, talk to me about your photograph. Well, I took my photograph while... It was at a competition at the local um, climbing gym in the cultural district. And um, I was photographing my boyfriend who was participating in the competition. And I really, <laughs> I guess I really liked the photo and I thought it kind of dis displays the like, kind of the things you can do in the district and I wanted to turn that in for the project um, so it could be like another thing displayed to show the coolness of Oceanside, I guess. That's rad. I think you captured it well. What about you, Shane? Talk to me about yours. Um, I, took, I took my picture a while before we were assigned the banner project while I was fishing one day. So I was just kind of fishing and letting whatever bait I had out there soak. And I was just taking pictures to like pass the time, you know, and I thought it was really nice out there. It was like a cool time to capture like how like relaxing things can be even like when crazy stuff's happening. So, you know, that's beautiful. It's a great message. Araceli, do you have anything that you like to photograph in particular? Some people like landscapes, some people like portraits. I actually like capturing people. A lot. Um, I haven't really captured that many people, um, but when I do, I enjoy it in those rare times. It's because it's very awkward for me to go to a person and be like, can I capture you? Because I know people are like, I know me, myself, I don't know what to do in a picture. But like, definitely like in the future, if when I get an actual camera, like an actual, I would like to capture people more and um, art too as well. What about you, Shane? You have a favorite style? Um, I really like action photography because I'm around wrestling a lot, you know, so I bring my camera to like every tournament I go to and try to get the best pictures I can. And it makes people happy when they get pictures of themselves wrestling, you know? That's rad. Yeah, absolutely. That's a very nice thing to do. That's cool. How yeah. about you, Ginger? Yes, I really enjoy portrait photography. Wow. This is great. Yeah, we've got all kinds of different mediums and styles then right here in just this small group. That's really cool. 
Justin, uh, talk to me about these these uh, these amazing students. I know that you you sent me some communication, bragging a little bit about how proud you are of them. Um, I want to give you an opportunity to take take the stage and talk about talk about these wonderful wonderful peeps here. All three of them have really been exemplary in different ways throughout the year. I think um, you know both Shane and Ginger uh, pursued the AP portfolio this year. Um, you know, challenging an AP exam from an introductory course is always, it's just a really like impressive, um, it, it is really refreshing to see young people challenge themselves in that way. And, um, and Araceli, I, you know, I, I honestly, more than any other student during this time that we've been away from campus has just demonstrated tremendous growth. I mean, she's always had the, 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 um, the passion and, and, and the willingness throughout the year. But like I've seen um, just a, a burst of creativity from her over these last few months. Um, and we, we haven't even been in the same room. So that's really, it's been like a very nice way to kind of uh, just a nice reminder that we can continue to be successful as educators and as students, um, even if we're not together on campus. No, that's great. That's great. I think you've captured that nicely. Well, I appreciate everybody spending some time uh, with me and sharing a little bit about your stories and sharing a little bit about the backgrounds of your photographs. Uh, I think everybody's going to appreciate hearing where some of those came from and the inspiration behind them as they see them driving along down the road. Now they'll have a story and a face to go along with the photo. So I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome.